Another great one, the Ray by Salty Water Tackle. And this one is a Gunston lure. You know, sometimes I've got where they're on big flying fish. They're not on the really small, they're on big flying fish. And these bigger lures, they will just hammer them. But again, you want to right size your terminal tackle. You know, on, on, once you start going bigger, you know, I would probably use a, a six uh, shout inline single hook for that. And with the bigger fish, we try to release the majority of the fish we catch. So with the bigger fish, they tend to inhale these lures. When you're getting on a big 200 plus pounds class of fish, we are always going singles because they suck this whole lure into their mouth and the troubles are just too hard to get out of the gills and release safely. So if you're on a bigger class of fish, I always suggest going with, with singles front and rear. The smaller ones, you know, the 50 to 200 pound tuna, or if you plan on, you know, keeping them to eat, trouble hooks are fine because most of the time the, the lure is across their mouth. It's not down into their throat and you can unhook them and release them even with the treble hooks. Pretty safe. But the giants always want singles because they suck it down. Same thing, uh, my usual reel of choice. I use Shimano Stella's. Um, I like their drag system. Um, I use 14 and 18 thousand size reels for tuna. 80 or 100 pound braid, I use 100 pound braid on all of mine just for the fact that I know it's going to be a 100 pound braid. Um, I don't have to remember what reel has this size line or what. On my 14,000 reels though, I do use 65. So on the 14,000, I use 65. 18,000 is 100. You don't really have to worry about going heavier or if you think 65 is too light on the 14,000. Most of the time you're in the open ocean for tuna. The braid is never going to break from them wrapping you up in something or anything like that. The only time it's going to break is when another tuna runs into it. And it doesn't matter if it's 500 pound braid, they're going to cut it. So as long as you can keep your braid away from the other tuna, you'll be fine. But I always just for ease of knowing what's on it, 100 pound braid on my 18,065 on the 14, I use hollow braid. So it splices back into itself. I splice it back into itself about 18 inches and I have a loop, a small loop on the end, which I attach to a, uh, a twisted leader. This is a 130 pound fisherman mono. It's, Hundred thirty pound Fisherman Mono. That's the brand Fisherman. It's a really soft monofilament. I like how it ties. I like the ease of use of it. It's always consistent. You can find this at most online tackle stores. I'm not sure about. I'm sure you could probably find it. You know, in the the tackle stores near the ocean too. I'm in Michigan, so it's hard for me to find unless I buy it online. But I twist it up, usually four twists per inch, about 36 inches long, and then just a simple overhead knot right here to, to stop the twist. So this, lure, this leader, twisted leader, is finished right now. So I would use a cat's paw knot four times and attach this loop to the loop on my braid. It's a cat's paw knot. And then once that is connected, for tuna fishing, I'm always 120 pound fluorocarbon. It's really simple once you get to this point to uh, attach. I use a simple figure eight knot. So this bite leader is really the only thing I ever change on a trip.
but it's it's really a, a simple knot to connect these. So it's it's not complicated. You can do it on the open ocean, rock it around. It's a figure eight knot. Just grab both ends one time, two times. Always wet it, and then as you tighten it, see it turns into like a, a figure eight. And if you can see that eight, you know you've tied it correctly. And then you just tighten it up. One thing I always have when I'm fishing on the ocean is knot pullers. These things will save your hands. So you just wrap your twisty part around that end. Wrap your tag in around here. And you can tighten that knot. So now that knot is good and tight. Just clip the tag ends, or the, it won't slip, as long as you saw that eight. You know, I, I leave tag ends about like that. And when I'm casting, so here would be my, my lure. 